Hello everyone. Today we are going to find the member forces in this indeterminate truss. The support at A sinks downwards by 2 mm. The Young's modulus and area of all of the members is the same. Young's modulus is 2.05 10 power 8 kN per meter square and area is 0.0016 meter square. In this truss there is no load. First, we have to find the degree of static indeterminacy. We know that this is the formula to find that. To find DSI, this is the formula. M is the number of the members. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, M is 7. J is the number of the joints. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. For DSI, we will get a 0. Now we need to find DSE. Caps R is the number of the reactions to be found. In the points A and D, there are hinged supports. We know that in the hinged support, there will be two reactions. So 2 plus 2, it will be 4. Small r is the number of equilibrium conditions available. There are three conditions available. Sigma V is equal to 0, Sigma H is equal to 0 and Sigma M is equal to 0. So R is 3. For DSE, we will get 1. In this address, we have only external degree of indeterminacy that is 1. At A, there are 2 reactions and at D also there are 2 reactions. From these 4, we have to remove any one of the reaction. We know that the support A sinks by 2 mm. In this case, we have to only release VA, that is the vertical reaction at A. You can see that I have released VA. Previously, in the point A, we had a hinged support, but right now we have only roller support. In this support, there will be only one reaction. Here, there is only horizontal reaction. This is the coordinates diagram. In this analysis, there is only one coordinate because we have released to only VA. Let us assume that VA is acting upwards. If we get any negative value later, then we can change the direction. We know that this is the formula we are going to use to find VA. P1 will be equal to VA. In the truss, there is no load, so delta L will be 0. The support at A sinks by 2 millimeter, we can convert that as meter. 2 by 1000, we will get 0 0.002 meter. The sinking occurs downwards, but the coordinate is in the upward direction. Both of these having their different directions. So for delta, we have to apply this value as negative. We can take a delta on the other side, so it will come in the denominator. Now, using this formula, we can find VA very easily. We have to make this a table. In the table, first we have to enter all of the members. Then we can find the values of K. In the coordinate direction, we have to apply unit load. And then we have to find the member forces. Our coordinate is VA. So, in the direction of VA, we have to apply unit load. You can see that in the direction of VA, I have applied unit load. Now we have to find the reactions. In the point A, we have a roller support. Here we have to find the horizontal reaction. In the point D, there is a hinged support. So we have to find the vertical and the horizontal reaction. By applying this rule, we can find VD, both of the unit load and VD are acting upwards. So both of them are positive. For VD, we will get a negative value. That means the assumed direction is incorrect. We assumed VD to be acting upwards, but actually it is acting downwards. We need to change the direction. Here I have changed the direction of VD. To find HA, let us take a moment about D. HA is acting in the anti-clockwise direction. So it will be negative and the distance is 3. 
the unit load is acting in the clockwise direction so it will be positive and the distance is 8 for HA we will get 8 upon 3 applying this rule we can find HD HA is acting towards the right side so it will be positive HD is acting towards the left side so it will be negative for HD also we will get 8 upon 3 we have to find this angle let us keep this angle as theta. Let us take this uh, triangle. In this uh, triangle, let us use a tan theta formula. That will be the opposite side 3 meter upon the adjacent side 4 meter. For theta, we will get 36.87. Let us take the joint A and to find the member forces. To find the member forces, I am going to use the method of joints. I am going to only use the cos theta. If you wanted to use sin theta as well, it is up to you. This angle will be 90 minus 36.87. So that we will get 53.13. First, we have to apply this rule because there will be only one unknown. The unit load is acting upwards. So it will be positive. We have to resolve FAE in the vertical direction. To keep it vertical, we need this angle. So with the FAE, we have to multiply cos 53.13. Since it is acting upwards, it will be positive. For FAE, we will get minus 1.666. Now we can apply this rule. This and FAB are acting towards the right side. So both of them are positive. We have to resolve FAE in the horizontal direction. To keep it horizontal, we need this angle. So with the FAE, we have to multiply cos 36.87. Since it is acting towards the right side, it will be positive. Let us apply the value of FAE. Finally, for FAB, we will get minus 1.333. Let us take the joint B and to find the member forces. By applying this rule, we will come to know that FBE is equal to 0. Let us apply this rule. It is acting towards the left side, so it will be negative. And it is acting towards the right side, so it will be positive. We have already found the value of FAB. We can apply that. Negative into negative, it will become positive. Finally, for FBC, we will get minus 1.333. Now, let us take the joint D and to find the member forces. First, let us apply this rule. Both of these are acting downwards, so both of them are negative. For FCD, we will get minus 1. Let us apply this rule. Both of these are acting towards the left side, so both of them are negative. For FDE, we will get minus 2.666. Now, let us take the joint C and find the member force in CE. If this angle is 36.87, this angle also should be 36.87. Using this rule, we can find FCE very easily. FBC and FCD we have already calculated. We have to resolve FCE in the horizontal direction. To keep it horizontal, we need this angle. So with the FCE, we have to multiply cos 36.87. Since it is acting towards the left side, it will be negative. FBC is also acting towards the left side, so it is also negative. We know the value of FBC, we can apply that. But here there is already a negative sign. So negative into negative, it will become positive. Finally, for FCE, we will get 1.666. Let us enter all of the values of K. Now we have to enter all of the lengths of the members. Length of AB, BC and DE is 4 meter. Length of BE and CD is 3 meter. To find the lengths of AE and CE, we can use Pythagoras theorem. That will be root of 4 square plus 3 square. We will get 5 meter. Let us enter all of the lengths. Then we have to find K square L. We will get these. After adding all of them, we will get 73.4. This is the formula to find delta summation of k square l. We have got 73.4. The area and Young's modulus for all of the members is the same. 
they are given in the question we can apply them for delta we will get this in this formula we can apply the value of delta we will get minus 8.93 for VA we have got a negative value that means our assumption is incorrect we have assumed VA to be acting upwards but actually it is acting downwards then using this formula we can find all of the member forces here in the truss I have entered all of the member forces now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.